So Orion School uh, started in the year 2000. It was uh, not actually here, it was on, um, on Lanica Avenue and we were once two schools, an infant school and a junior school. In 2000 the schools were shut down by the government and within another day reopened and we named it the Orion. It's, uh, it's had a long history now, 22 years. Um, I was here from the start with uh, quite a number of current staff. Uh, our passion is to make a difference to all our children uh, and to make things really, really happen for our community. Uh, well, first of all, we work very hard, but behind all we do is our very positive ethos. We believe that happy children make very rapid learning progress. Um, so. All that we do is centred around positivity, encouraging the children to be confident, to believe in themselves, which sounds a little bit kind of, well, a phrase that would be used in any school, but we have certain techniques which help the children achieve that goal. Uh, and we have a commitment from all our amazing staff to actually ensure that we are positive and there's a, a kind of special world of Orion for our children to function within. Uh, through uh, lockdown, uh, obviously a very, very strange situation, but we kind of turned the school into something completely different in a way. Uh, we turned ourselves into a centre or a service for the community. So we had many, many children in school. Um, the government obviously gave us the opportunity to have our most vulnerable children in and we had many, many children in. We invited as many children back to the school as we could, safely obviously, but we also had a huge hub which provided food and resources, advice, extra bits of money uh, for our community. So for 18 months we were kind of a kind of school but more of a service towards the community really. Uh, we felt our job was to keep everybody as positive as possible and uh, we actually made a hundred small little movies for the children to watch and to be connected to us which was also different but uh, appreciated by everyone. Um, I think everybody had uh, the same spirit they always have which is in a crisis and a moment of challenge we pull ourselves together and we put children first. So um, there was great camaraderie, great teamwork, uh, we did put our families first, uh, delivering food and bringing people in, checking on families day by day. So um, for, for us kind of it was what we normally do but hugely different if you see what I mean. Uh, I was very, very lucky. Um, I've been a head teacher a long time, 30 years in fact. I was, I was very young when I was head teacher, only 27 years old. I've always worked for Barnet and dedicated myself to the children. Uh, I've been here a long time. Uh, as you know, I'm head not only of Orion, but of Goldbeaters Primary School too. We're a federation, one of the longest serving federations. And um, I, I really appreciated the, uh, should we say, the vote of confidence from the staff who nominated me for that award. So um, uh, it didn't bring great riches, but it brought great, uh, great encouragement to me and also I think to all our community and what we do in enabling children to feel positive about learning and to succeed. Uh, well, we believe that school isn't just about having a timetable and each day is similar. Uh, life has to be really exciting to create a positive environment. Things to look forward to, things to engage in, different ways of learning. So yeah, we have lots going on. In fact, the whole year is broken into different parts. So right now we're in Movember when we've done lots of moving and we've just finished Rock Sober when we rocked on with our, with our learning. Uh, we look forward to some big initiatives in the year. So one of the biggest is a festival called Word Up. We have a sign, word up, word up, which is all about literacy and reading. And it's during the winter months, which suits that time. And in the summer, we have a huge festival, Go Fest, which is about six weeks. And it's about celebrating uh, culture, community, the arts. Um, and one of our biggest successes currently running is our new talent schools. So we have all the children staying on one night uh, at Goldbeaters on Monday and one night Wednesday at Orion. And we have lots of other talent uh, activities going on through the week as well. So that's our latest initiative, which the kids are really, really loving. I think just a little bit more money. I know educationists always say that. But um, going back 20 years, that there was money in education, we could really uh, improve our buildings. Goldbeater's building, for example, is very, very old. Um, so just a little bit extra for the things that head teachers feel are a priority and to enable us to have education for the future, really. Community, there's only one word for our community, amazing. I wish they could be celebrated uh, throughout the world. 
because our parents work so hard for their children, they're dedicated to their children, they love us as a school, but best of all, the unity that you see in this area is phenomenal. It's a huge story to tell. Everybody gets on so well, everybody has one goal, and that is togetherness, living together in harmony, uh, and for me, that is absolutely outstanding and should be all over the world, all over the press, everywhere. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> hopes of the future really are that um, we continue to be positive, we continue to really uh, perhaps influence the world and, and the government with positivity, a little bit of love and a little bit of, yeah, you, you know what, we're all right and we can make things amazing in the world together.